just be a repeat. It's definitely in the back of their minds, that seed planted by every analyst and community member standing. I'm sure now be aware of it as well. They've done it before, they've lifted the trophy before. And now here at IEM Cologne, they look to take another leap in that direction. 1-0 up in the series, let's get it started. G2 on the attack, 1xbet leaning Na'Vi's way heavily, and I can understand that. Perfecto, oh, oh. damn, perfecto, and all oh, just bit as well. The clicks are too get good. Get him out of here. The clicks are too good. G2, you've got, what, 90 seconds? You've lost three members of your team already. Oh dear, oh, there's a lot of details in that one. The fake towards middle was called completely clear by Electronic and Simple, which meant that Perfecto and Bit could keep their attention drawn over towards the B apartments the entire time. They are some bangers of shots to hit. Now it's Nico and Jax. This would be some 2v5 to bring back and would be a statement here going into map number two. This is G2's map choice. Oh, well, there's an opening jewel for, and a multi-kill for Perfecto. They'll start farming the stats early. Now, these are the guys that threw the utility. There's not even any Kevlar for Jax and Nico right now. Oh, they are naked. Birthday suit Counter-Strike. Yeah, this should only be a matter of oh, time. Oh, uh, oh, my God. Yeah, that's crispy from Bit. And maybe Simple will grab this final one. Jax, wow, he's given up his position. The bomb has been spotted, and they are coming. Bit's being gooshed. Now, for Jax, it is really just about damage. You, you, look, there's so, so far, there's three players on Na'Vi who haven't even taken a bullet just yet. They haven't even had to get into any action whatsoever. So if he can get some kills, they're going to have to at least reinvest in Kevlar going into the next round. Name of the game, not going to matter. Boomich gets the kill, and they're just happy with the way that one kicks off. No damage done whatsoever other than the one bullet out of Jax's Glock into Bit's dome. But not Perfecto, the way you want to start. Perfecto and Bit, both with their crosshairs in such a good place. All they had to do was click, bang, and a second as well. Magnificent shots out of Perfecto and Bit. Crispy, crispy. Okay, well, G2 immediately start on the back foot. Now, uh, just a quick little stat line here. Both of these teams have played Mirage twice throughout this tournament. Both these teams are undefeated, and we've seen the duality of G2, CT, and T side. They had a banger of a T side uh, against the likes of Big. They destroyed them. It was a 16-1 game. Oh. Taunting them now. And the other matchup was against Gambit, which is a huge scout for G2 to take. That was with a very, very strong CT side. Simple. Wow, he gets a little bit more than he bargains for and is able to drop out in time. Back up there, bit mowing down from range. Oh, it's a shooting gallery. You love the Eco Bash. You do. And he'll even happily grab in a couple of extra SMG frags for good measure. Nico, last to depart. And a 2-0 conversion without a single body dropped. Now, that's the, the key I want to take there. Not a single body drop. Two rounds of play. Now, sure, that was the full eco. All right, we'll give them that one there. This is where that needs to change. We can't go into the first gun round and they only get one or two kills. We need to see something threatening. G2 need to start off on a very, very strong foot here. Yeah, the only type of damage we've seen inflicted is poor Jax with a Glock dink. Other than that, G2 yet to do anything to the Na'Vi roster, and it's going to happen here. AK's in play, all the util they desire. Nico quiet on Dust2, gonna look to try and show everyone what he's <laughs> got and simple, just smiling, smirking, an evil grimace on his face. He knows what he's up to. And the nade looks destined for greatness as well. Hunter's gonna cop that. Oh, G2, they just feel like they're surrounded like a bully circle, just getting pushed and punched by every member of Na'Vi. So book a mount up ticket here and look towards connector as well. This could be a perfect timing. Perfect oh, incendiary as well. <laughs> there it is. Oh, and he collects. Doesn't matter if there's a smoke or not. Simple. Off to his winning ways again. Patrol in the sight. Navi have got four players leaning on this side of the map and a missed shot keeps one alive just for a second longer as it oh it just falls into place. We said, Chad. You know what we said, they had to do some damage. All of these bonus weapons no longer being replaced by a rebuy but being replaced by G2's AK-47s and M4 as well. They've just got a full upgrade. They've just had their buy in the middle of play. Yeah, Boomich could even go and grab another AK if he really wanted to get looking here. Nico, one on five. Impact over on Dust2, almost a non-factor here. Let's see if he can split a couple of domes and make this one costly. Maybe he even just wants to hold on to this with the head armor behind it. Navi the Immortal. Ah, it, the thing is as well, like simple having the deagle on the second round, I didn't even, the penny didn't even drop until I see him jumping into window room on the first gun round with the AWP in his hand. But I see AWPs take that pot shot through the smoke and it's, you know, it's, a, it's supposed to just be a pot shot. He's just hit the first one straight out the gates. 
Amanek doesn't even get to play the round. Yeah, it's definitely setting a tone here. Uh, and it will just be the save here from Nico. So they get to hold on to this AK. And it, that's good because it's 2,900 as the loss bonus in the next. He's not going to get that. The rest of his team will be able to upgrade some light pistols and deagles around him. So that's great, but still not a single kill. Literally not a single kill in three rounds of play. And the most damage done was Jax in a one on five on the pistol and he goosh bit. Right, that is the only point of damage done. The crosshair has not even been in the right place for any of the G2 players, Jesus, to contest. Not even in the right place, right? They haven't done any damage whatsoever. Now it's only three rounds of play, but this cannot continue. We're getting into things for round number four. Deep nade from Simple. Gonna do a chunk of damage there to Nexa. That AK-47 on the back oh, of Nico. Oh, and the second one being thrown out by Electronic as well. They're luckily to evade it. Oh, did they miss their window smoke here as well? Doesn't look good. The boost will counter any potential CT glances. I say that. Simple could at least post up on this line. If they shimmy forward, the barrel will be spotted. So they will have to dismount here. They've been given a lot of room to work with. I mean, why not boost that and wait that out with your hero, AK? Is he going to rotate in? Save for a moment, and he is walking in. He'll surely anticipate this is simple. Ready for it? Nice find. Nico's AK is the first, and Electronic quick to take the boost away from him. Hunter down. Weapons recovered, stopping any funny business in that department. I think Bit's actually going to try and hide that even more, so just make sure that there's no chance in the world that one can be picked up. He's even picked it up himself, so Nico would need to do a lot more here. Electronic. Oh, meets Nico, and now we're starting to see him take form. He has to find his form here, and Amanek, oh, just looks away in that off-angle. Perfecto will collect an equalizer into the 3v3, and now through jungle, yes, but with 20 seconds, you've got to make your mind up here. Feels like it has to be towards A. Oh, that's a third for Nico right now. They can pivot. They need to get a move on. Almost 15 seconds left. He's done them so much for them, but it's by no means a guarantee. Boomic tucked in on triple. They may expect CT. Boomic, a chance to strike. His teammates will get the info. The bomb's being planted. He denies it all. Boomic wrecks G2. And it's just giggles in the Na'Vi camp. They keep G2 on the goose egg. Nico did as much as he could with the hero AK, but nothing to report. No rounds in the bank. That one right there, even though it doesn't have the consequence that G2 were hoping for, is great for Nico's confidence. Four kills in the round, and they were all clinical. That is what Nico is known for, that AK-47 just destroying heads. And every single one of these was great. We're catching them on the replay. Boomage, lucky as you like. The bomb has to be planted by Jax. There's not enough time for him and just springing that trap. So Boomage, his impact there. But let's get these gun rounds back underway. See if we can get the... Round starting to form in G2's favor as well. There we go. Nico oh, continues. Starting, now we're talking. Starting to heat up. I'm not talking red hot, but it's definitely starting. Just a perfect time for Hunter to strike. He posts his first as well. We'll smoke off jungle. They want to make this hurt. They've got some pace behind them here. Into A. Flooding through the connector. The flames will keep them honest. We'll keep them at bay. Electronic needs a reload. Nico late from ramp. And Na'Vi will just start to maneuver back towards this B side. There's two of them there. Electronic still wants to perhaps voice some concerns. But G2 going to be very diligent. Check the site out thoroughly. All right. Well, now the damage of Nico's AK is being felt. They have to save, right? You can't go into this and throw it away, considering the loss bonus only at 1,400. There's a bit of residual cash in the bank. The buy probably could work. But once again, we're thinking the long game here on this ET side from Na'Vi. So great stuff. Nico gets four kills in the previous round, gets the opening kill in this one, and now he's here to play. The question was going to be, how long can Na'Vi keep Nico caged? Well, that feels like he's broken out of it early in map number two, and that's a necessity for G2 to be competitive here within this grand final. Yeah, shaking his shackles off. Big opening from Nico, converted by his squad. The rest is looking to save. It looks like G2 are just happy to be posting their first here, and they do break their silence early. 4-0 was a little alarming. Very the, alarming. The way in which it was found <laughs> as well. Three clean sheets. When does that ever happen? You know, when are the first three rounds of a game ever kept completely clean? Oh, you can leave that. Ale vamos. He's keeping it mixed. Well, I guess he has to, right? They're doing it in English, then they can break off into some Serbian, break off into some French. They got little trifectas for both of those languages. This is the duel we're talking about. So Bumic didn't have util, so decided to use his body in place of a ramp smoke, tucking close. Nico catches him on the aggress. And this was a big catch as well. So both the Kovac contributions. 
And it will put the first on the board. Game time. Let's see what happens into our next. It's round six, the standard util mid. And I think with nades and wall bangs, they've been deterred from anything particularly aggressive. Simple's taking his AWP to B, just constantly mixing it up, keeping it unpredictable. And that sliver gap does confirm presence. He knows there's one at least descending towards the lowers. Jack's top mid as well. Bit was in ladder, so he'll be responsible for anyone that tries to walk out under window. How long is Simple going to stay here for? Now you can see with that jump of Hunter, maybe expecting somebody to creep out close. That's why he's holding a tighter angle just now. You want tight lines? Look at Jax as well. Yeah, just watching for anyone electronic funny business. He does like these kind of occasional. We saw it uh, in the semi-final. He loves these self-initiated aggressive moves in the mid-round. And yeah, that flash does put Bit on a bit more of an aggressive stance for that underpass walkout. This is quite slow from G2. We're sub one minute now, and they're just jostling for this mid control. Window smoke out from Jax. Flash is going to follow through. That permits Hunter to come up through the underpass. Starting to clamp down on this one. But are they postured for an A split, or is it going to be over towards B? Jumping off the catwalk, it should be A with 40 seconds left. High flash from Simple should buy some additional time. The incendiary burning away, and they've got smokes and more incendiaries as well. They're going to have to go through this. Off the flash, I suppose. They're burning their toes, pushing in. Great loss of vision. A one for one. And the A site could be theirs. They may have found a gap. Simple's posted up on this. And they're planting in front of that triple box. He st still could be denied. Oh. It's not far off. Aminek wants the trade. He has fallen to Simple. What a push from Boomich. So much damage inflicted. It's gruesome. If they catch that bomb plant. Oh, and he has the bomb loose. G2's chances dwindle. What are you supposed to do now? Nico's not got the health. And with a frown on his face, he accepts his fate. It's five for Na'Vi. Oh, dearie me. That was looking good for a moment there. That trade onto Electronic. The site felt like it was good. It felt like it was going to be G2's every day of the week. It did. Where did Amanek go down from there? Because it was a wall bang moment, right? Simple's orb had come through the wall. Yeah, I think Amanek peeked into him. Simple just caught a perfect line and much quicker on the trigger. Well, that's going to immediately force G2 to have a timeout and just have a conversation, maybe calm things down. As I mentioned, that was a slow round. So it's not like they're just running into these and the rounds are finishing quickly. They did have uh, quite a slow pace. Am I oversimplifying it if, it if I was to say that could be a reaction to the fact that anything quick they tried was met with nades and bullets? I mean, you maybe Malik does just say, lads, there's, there's a full one minute and 45. Maybe we could just, you know, not die in the first day. Yeah, I'm just trying to reflect to some of the games. Here it is again. So let's see, what does he catch off? Ah, there. Here? Just through the post. Oh, okay. Well, that's a great way to kick things off. And the spam through the, the smoke here. You got Jax not on a whole lot of HP. The bullet's painting a line around him. Oh, and a nice little flick on up there as well. So things looking very good for Na'Vi here. Now, I, I did want to talk about the T side of G2 when they took on Big. It was just felt like defaulting every round. And every time Big tried to fight them in middle, Jax was removing heads, right? His AK was looking very precise from that top mid box, from that tap position. Or Delpan, if you're one of the old schoolers. Electronic has a lot of room here. A lot of space. It's usually bodyguarded by Boomich here, so Hunter's going to have to watch himself. They're both looking the wrong way at this point in time. If there was a little contact top mid, he might have had a good chance to throw something, a bit of a wrench into this Na'Vi works. The flash out from Perfecto here, he's just ready to assist as soon as Boomich takes contact. That'll buy a buffer for Electronic. Right, That flash should get the underpass player as well as the top mid swing, depending on how wide Hunter goes. There's the flash. Electronic, he's still posturing, right? And G2 know that. That utility is very, very deep. Hunter will have heard some steps as well up towards the short side. They have the stack in the right position. Simple's on B, Perfecto's here, Boomich is close. The bomb is in the B apartments right now as well. If it's the B finish, they'll just be running into a wall, G2. Feels like a B finish when you see the util starting to sail through. Simple's here again, as is Perfecto. Tucks in off the flash, and oh. what is that? He's caught another, and he's not done either. Perfecto steals it from him. G2 held up in the apartment, and that's important. Nico has put Simple down. And Perfecto's left, just in the open, but doesn't matter. His precision is there. And Perfecto continues to make good and short work of G2. 25. Really uncomfortable now. Boomich in the tight line, not easy clear for the AWP. Hunter's gone. What's Amanek supposed to do? Narveen dismantle G2. Upon arrival to this B site, tight line's held, and that's the end of that. Oh man. They're reading this, aren't they? They are. They've got the they've got G2's number. And typically, even if G2 have situations where there has been a read from their opponent, it's usually the brute force of their individuals that can overcome the odds. But I mean when simple's hitting shots like that. Yeah, look, you speak of individuals. Nico was able to grab that one and a second, right? 
correct. But right now, at this point, he's found himself seven kills. Anybody else on his team, they're not even in touching distance of damage. Jax, one kill. Hunter, one kill. Amanek, one kill. Nexus, zero. Next up, one ADR. Seven rounds of play so far. Uh, now the question on Dust2 was, where's Nico? His team needs him. Now the question is, where's the team? Nico needs them. <laughs> you could, you'd love to have both at the same time on Wouldn't the grand you? final stage. And this is where it will just be another timeout burn. So the second one of G2 used here within the first seven rounds of play. Navi in their heads. Uh, opening kills as well, you know, it, it hasn't been a huge factor for Na'Vi, but they've managed to get the lion's share, five for them. That does mean only two for G2 so far, so on this T side, I'm sure they'd level a couple more. Yeah, so you've got two unarmored pistols, one AK, some Galils. Na'Vi definitely got a lovely, very flexible CT setup. Hunter's bringing some aggression into the mix, and this time he gets the better of Perfecto, a huge contribution. And his second frag. There you go, Chad. There's another name. Yeah, and that's an opening kill as well. So now how can they work with this? They can just regroup. They have the number advantage here. But every single time it's felt like Na'Vi are the ones who have their pieces in the right place. Bit passive over towards Ticket right now when he's lonesome. Simple playing float. He's over towards Market. Boomich in the vent room has to deal with mid. And Electronic, well, he's on B. So right now, if G2 were just to completely steamroll into this A site, they just have to get past the rookie. Jax will smoke off one side. I don't know if there's going to be much more. It might just be the bodies. Bit has that incendiary. He's going to be tempted to drop it upon the flashbangs, but holds his nerve, holds the palace line, and screams. They're on A. Holds his nerve. The flash took by some time. G2 flooding into the site. They've had the site before, though, but they haven't been able to convert. Looking for the bomb plant. Great catch from Bit. Good trade from Jax. He's got to find another. Does get his feet back on the ground in time. Looking good for G2 here. Boomich with a 1v4. And he gracefully does mantle up towards short. Smooth. Very nice. And could have a bit of an opportunity with a smoke scooped up, but could just be this orc recovery. Uh, as I see him swap over to the AWP, we all know the G2 have made it too. Look where the kills came from, though. Hunter with the opening, Amanek gets one, and Jax with a double. Not Nico, right? And that's great. We've just called for it. We said, where's the team? Well, here they are. They've shown up in a crippled buy. That was not a good buy whatsoever. They just cobbled that one together, able to get a couple of rifles out, a couple of pistols, and now they walk away and they profit. So it's looking good for Na'Vi, but by no means is this one a guarantee whatsoever. Six to two, the scoreline lies. And if they can get a consecutive T round here, they can really start working on this CT sided economy. You see Boomich having to save there, percentage plays, all that good stuff, but they are slowly whittling them down. He was the opener, and it was close indeed. Red HP, Jax with this double. On the jump spot, changing weapon as well. Doing it the hard way. And pressing as many buttons as he possibly could in the same window. In Perfecto, yeah, he knew he wasn't able to deliver in that capacity this time. He's, he's done some sensational work for Na'Vi so far. Bit unloads his mag, and you do see that CT economy of Na'Vi. Kind of hinging on, well, three M4s. Jax has already been caught on the aggression. It's crazy to me that in a round where their economy could be broken and G2 could get back into the game, they just go and take the fight. Electronic Loves runs it. out, gets a kill, gets away. That's crazy. You know, you think you might see them play a little bit more scared, a little bit more reserved. That's not the case whatsoever with Na'Vi. G2 need to find a trade. It's a bit late for that. How do you get back in? CT smoke thrown out to support. That's Bit. Bailing out Electronic and buying some time. The response in kind. It's a deep molly, will spread and enable no short resistance for another seven. Next, uh, the yet to frag in game leader. We know he's got it in him, but definitely humbled so far. And bits patrolling. Nico, oh wow. He's been taken down as well. Na'Vi have clawed this straight back into a 3v5. Now something of sort of a trade. It's still a problem. Bombs loose and G2 dilapidated. And only Nexa now. The whole squad against him. You said they had to find some contest consecutive rounds, but oh. Na'Vi have just not let it happen. They refuse. Well, that felt like his chance for a kill right there. Needs something just for the confidence sake. One ADR so far. There's the frag. Off the donut. Oh, spotted simple as well. There is the AWP is posted up and walks straight into his line. Really good stuff right now from Na'Vi, and I want to point out that it's not like Simple's AWP is being used ticket, right? That's traditionally where you would see an AWP play. They're keeping him over towards this B bomb site quite often. 
Now, if you guys come back with me in the time machine to when Zeus used to be on Na'vi, simple in the early stages of rounds would back up the B bomb site, right? So that the B bomb site couldn't be bullied. Now, if G2 came in with a game plan, yeah, we're going to go hit up Perfecto. We're going to bully the support player on the B site. You're not getting away with that. If you go in, you get either destroyed by Perfecto and Bit Combo, or Simple's there with the AWP to slow you down as well. Yeah, Bit is a revelation for Na'vi. How often were they so close, but just didn't quite have that fifth finger of the fist? Look, Flamey had great aim sometimes. Bit has great aim and he's bloody versatile. But all the time. And he understands this Na'vi game plan. Look at Electronic, look at the flare from this man. Straight up, tagged up, still doing damage, still draws first blood. This time Nexus clawed one back and it's on Simple no less. They may assume that that was a wide open B site with Simple's death. He's walking on in as well. The smoke implies Perfecto's close. Go on, Nexa. He's delivered. G2 given a gift. Needed that. Definitely needed that. And it's all a ruse. The B it's rotation, it. it's in. Oh, oh, another one. Go on, Nexa. One man army here for the G2 army. And now the A site wide open. He'll take another. Go on, Nexa. Four. Give him the ace. Bit walking around in the kitchen. He's not far off. The crosshair was in the right place. Now that's a confidence booster if ever I saw one. It could be walking into this here as well. Nexus still posted up light. Lose him in transition, but this could play in his Ooh. favor here. That's a response from Nexus. Started this one slow, but the in-game leader steps up in a huge way. He's here to play, and that's the third for G2. Game on. Game on. Another one added to the list. I am Cologne can't stop delivering aces. One on dust two for a record breaker. Now Nexa with a neck breaker. Some great shots. Love the catch as well. He's off to A, he just gets a freebie on the way in. Confidence and jitters need to be nowhere in the conversation for G2 now. Nico, at the start of the map, he showed up with that AK. Nexa now, the in-game leader here to play. Let's see how far G2 can push this. If they want to get activated, it needs to be now. You're just proving to yourself, Na'Vi can die. They can bleed. You can actually convert. It can feel like a bit of a brick wall at times, especially when they're armored to the teeth on the CT side. Quite the opposite, the case here in round 11. Now you want to keep this one clean if you're G2. That round was great. You're getting in this, you're feeling it, you're starting to get fired up, but calming this one down and taking your time. You cannot fumble. You show your shoelaces, you don't want to be tripping over them here, the banana peel, all those cliches. It needs to just be a slow crawl, work out where this stack is, work out what type of buy you're up against. Once you know it's the USPs, a real conversation can begin. And Nexa, well, he might pick up where he left off. Heading over towards this B site. Clears close. About to get a bit of a shock. Turns the corner, dinked on up, still converts onto simple. He now knows that it is an eco. And he can comp confirm there's no more presence in the B apartments. It still looks like they want to walk up short, though. This could get very dangerous. I know it is on the USPs, but if they don't clear all their corners here. You've got so much time. Take your time. Jax has tagged up bit. Will he clear his corner? Oh, Boomich has taken him down, and now backs are turned. There's too many bodies. These P250s are hurting. It's getting costly. 2v1. And Perfecto shouldn't have a voice into this one, but already he's just chipping away at Nico. Every bullet connecting. And he's oh, no, 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 no. Perfecto, this would be such a clutch. Breaking G2's morale, their spirits and their hopes. Up against nothing. It was a full eco. Hunter's got to pick the pieces up here. Everything implies it's his. Perfecto still being a dastardly little Duke. Oh. Now tagged up him again. 35. Oh my God, he connected another. Hunter bails him out with 19 HP to spare. Oh my God. I said, don't slip over your own shoelaces. Not on that banana peel. And it almost does exactly oh, that. If they lost holy. to the USPs, that would have been gutting everything that they had just done. All of that confidence, those jitters that I was talking about shouldn't be oh. in the conversation. That could have all come crashing down. So close to that. And it's just perfecto. You know, he's having quite the grand final as well. Uh, look, this guy's shown that he's more than a safe pair of hands, right? The impact of him, he's often operating with an MP9 like he's in-game leader Boomage, but this could have been great. So much damage. So much damage. He's already won a 1v3 in that. That would have been a fantastic clutch right there from Perfecto. But look at the buy. Now, V, sure they purchased in. It's double AWP prioritized. MP9, as I mentioned, uh, a Famous. There is a kit. Utility is a bit of a problem here, and Simple's back towards B. Yeah, he fired off some shots mid, so they know there's an AWP presence B or was. And he's actually going for a lovely angle here on top of the bench. He should have a chance to at least pull the trigger onto the first. They bunny hop out the window. The flashes are there. They haven't found him. Simple now put his name in the feed. There's an AWP on sight. And nice catch from Nico. Electronic keeps it level. It's going back and forth. It's Jax that catches the rotate. This looks great for G2 now, and they've got so much time. Bit with the AWP. You'd imagine he wants to keep hold of it. He hasn't fired a shot yet, so they don't actually know what weapon Bit was wielding. If he can just keep his head tucked right now and say, hey, 
Don't look for me. Let me just hold on to it. Assume I have a Famous. Assume I have something quite light because this back in play is actually going to be great for Na'Vi going forward. Their loss bonus only at 2,400. G2 are back in this game in a big way, and this AWP could be the trump card that they're not expecting. It looks like they're just going to forego him right here. Jax is starting to have a look towards Connector. Hunter saved that AWP to give to Amanek, but G2 are back in this first half. That's five. Now we're working on something. Now we're cooking with gas. Now how far and how much of a surprise will this AWP be? Because Hunter took that one away. They know that Simples wasn't scavenged. This is such a question mark. I'm going to be very, very curious to see how it's plied. Surprisingly, no timeout taken from Na'Vi here. You wouldn't mind having the conversation of where the AWP was going to end up. Of course, in Simple's hands. But at what part of the map are they looking for a weakness? Yeah, just treats himself to a Kevlar vest off the rack. Fits him nicely. And let's see if he can continue to do damage. Actually, hearing these pistols early is good. It might lure them in. They're not quite sure what that saved rifle was. They may find out pretty damn soon if they continue their campaign up mid. Jack's caught a little whiff of bit there. You can see that there is a, just a slight more touch of passive nature to this setup for now. Yeah, and hopefully this time they don't find themselves walking into the stack. Yeah, that was <laughs> fragile. Very scary stuff. Okay, well, the call looks like it's being made. Still over a minute left on the clock. The bomb on Amanek heading back over towards the A bomb site. He's got Jax with him and Nico already aggressive in Palace, holding on to the push. Simple Zorp over towards Window. Keep that in the back of your mind throughout. Now, I would love to see, and I've seen it many times from those online boys, the boys of Heroic, you know, you send in Hunter for a bit of a touchy feel of B before you commit into this and what now looks like a relatively stacked up site. Simple CT. This could be some huge problems. They can't smoke CT from Palace and they're having three players come through Palace. This could be, oh, they've actually forced the rotation. Simple might not be in position here. If he is, he can ruin the round. He's starting to suss it out. Nexa spotted and tagged up, but he's still standing his ground. He's looking for you. Jax just jumps straight into the crosshairs. And now oh, they're the problem. screwed now, 25. He knows where you are. He's looking ramp. Your util will not force him off this line. He's still ready to receive you. Tucked on triple, he's looking the wrong way. You gotta get out now. G2, oh, just as he looks away. That's a gift. Amanek will take it. They have to watch out for that triple box. And another one from Perfect. Is still hidden on the site. Eight seconds, it. eight He's seconds. Deny it, dude. Five, five. Somebody find him. They tag him up. That's a big one from Nexa. He contributes in a huge way, and I can't believe how close these rounds have come on just Ecos. Bit could get a weapon there if he's got the moves. Ooh, second Whoop. attempt. Ah. Uh, can't stick it. Go in mid, boys. Go in mid. And uh, that CZ now, still having a look on in here, would love to walk away with something. A new avenue. A new direction. I can't believe how sketchy that was. Can you believe that Simple oh. just looked away? It's like 12 seconds. He's, he can't quite believe G2 would have overcommitted Palace. He looks away, Amanek strikes. Yeah, that's the thing, right? He doesn't know how many players were behind the, that Palace wall. Yeah. So the fact that he surges forward is to help them as they're coming up connector. But that was where Nexa did all the damage. You have to give a big thumbs up to Nexa. He found Boomich behind the box. I'm sitting here screaming, Boomich can ruin it all. Nexa, no dramas whatsoever. The clock was so low. And that's Boomich special. We saw him already convert a round off the back of that. He likes to sit triple. When you've got 20 seconds left, he will tuck in and be ready for that denial. Oh, this is just huge from Nexa, right? He started this game, what was it, zero and six? Now he's got 10 frags. Five of those came in all one round, and this was another impact round from Nexa. I cannot state that enough. This one right here, because you know, just a little bit of extra time. So there was a chance, there was a real chance here, but Na'Vi, they're back against the wall right now, and they're pushing mid. Let's see how this reacts with Jax and Amanek. Electronic, got some real pep in his step. Aggressive, elevated. Flash from Nico. Simple's already caught Hunter on his underpass campaign, so there are real options here. And I'll fully flash Jags again to die. Amanek claws something back. They'd love another. Not to be found all too easy. So much time. Round 14 and already G2 stomaching two casualties. Util deployed. Mid info denied. But what does that tell Na'Vi? Well, they have to worry about some of these smoke gimmicks right now. Simple has two choices. Has to look towards the window jump up, as well as the connector play and Nico. Oh, you wouldn't. I think he might. Try and slip through. Oh, the barrel poking out costs him his life, and G2's chance is really starting to dwindle. Nexa confirms they've evacuated the window. Well, Bits pushing again. 
would he really check ladder? He's considered it. Amanek, I think he may have just been spotted. That's the bomb. They can't afford to lose him. And down goes Amanek. Here comes Nexa. Yeah, two not expecting him now. This might be two huge frags. 1v4. He's got to give it all he's got. They both just disappear, evaporate. Oh, that's going to waste so much time for him to search right now. This is still a free kill onto Perfecto every day of the week, but he can't get the double anymore. Position noted. There's no time for this. There's just no, no time for this. Hoping to flush out another here. Next is done in this one. This is going to be eight for Na'Vi. What an adjustment. Oh. Yeah. Boomage from the heavens. Airborne as he starts to unload his mag. One more round of play here on Mirage, and it started so bleak for G2. Similar scenes as that of Dust2, actually, now I think about it. Good to see Nexa online. What a turnaround he's had. I think he spent the first five, six rounds on a big goose egg, now yeah. posting 12. He's at the top of the scoreboard in the server with Electronic. Now, right here is a big difference maker for G2. I've said they've had great T halves in one of the maps that they played, that was against Big. They had a really good CT half against Gambit. If they can keep this one down the middle, there's no reason that that CT half can manifest right here, right now. Simple's been searching, he's been getting away with these opening frags, but the trades have been good. There was a moment there where Nexa could have really pincered and pounced from behind, but just didn't line up in his favor here. That'll be the third time out called for G2. On that CT half I'm talking about, they'll only have one in their back pocket. Here we go, round number 15, about to get underway. The AKs are out, the buy is looking good for both teams. Jax is going to really want to avoid that opening death again. He's had a fair few of them in these last few. Out he goes. He is the entry fragger, but right now he's just been struggling to break through Na'Vi. Slight gap in the smoke for Simple to work his magic. Someone has to be the sacrificial lamb. Someone has to go through first, and it might be Jax again. He's jumped over. That's a good element of surprise. Not oh. so surprised. Bits, eyebrows remain firmly furrowed. Well, that's kind of ruined the entire strategy there for G2. Yeah. They don't get that mid control that they can hunker down with and rotate through late. Now they're just hedging back towards A. And, well, they got away with this before, but it was because of the presence of Nexa against the lower buy of Na'Vi through middle. Hunter, he's parking for a late flank right now. A minute on the clock. Are they just going to search on out here? Because Amanek has a window of opportunity right now to post up to the window. It'd be a bit of a classic, but... I think they feel like they have to make a sound cue before rounding this corner. Hunter's going to try and sell a fake. And it won't really be convincing unless he can take one of them down. They're walking in now. Okay, Boomich spotted out. Nexa begging his teammate to find the frag. And they do! Both of them, in fact. Oh, and another from Nico. Suddenly the A site is open for business. They're battered and bruised. Hunter with the latest of flanks. They know he was B. Perfecto and Bit, though. Both of these new boys have delivered. Let's get back into game. Final round of play, G2 to close this gap within touching distance of Na'Vi. Perfecto, a smoke and a kit. If you could get it on the bomb, it's on default. And the smoke, Nico will post another three from Nico here, and that's it. Okay, competitive mirage after all. This grand final delivers, as do G2 in the second half of our first. We'll be right back with the second. Future pros, we have another execute for you and your friends to learn. This execute will help when you are taking the B site on Mirage. For this setup, you will need at least three future pros and three smokes, and optionally a bunch of flashes. Let's break this down. Future pro number one, you will be throwing one of the arch smokes. To do this, line yourself up with this corner of the cracked stone floor. Aim at the left side of this dark, square smudge on the wall, then simply jump throw the smoke. Since you threw this from close to mid, I would recommend wrapping around cat to get to B or maybe holding off rotations in mid. Future pro number 2, you will throw the other arch smoke. To do this, line up with the middle part of this window. Aim to the sky and position your crosshair so it is in the middle of the antenna and the overhang. Then throw the smoke normally. Future pro number 3, you will be smoking off the window leading into the B site. 
To throw the smoke, get yourself into this corner. Aim at the corner of this large tower, then jump through the smoke. Nice and easy. With all three of these smokes thrown, taking the B-side should be much easier than it would be without them. To make this even easier on your team, get your players to lob as many flashes as possible over the top of B. And as always, good luck. We return straight to the fray. Na'Vi exchanging bumps and smiles, and understandably so. Not only 1-0 up, but just the one round up after the first half of our second Mirage. Competitive CT start looked great. Perfecto has looked like an, a fourth star, as if there was any more needed in this Na'Vi sky. And there's one of the newest. 18 years of age on the grand final stages, Bit. Nexa recovers after a very slow start. Let's see how the second half has any more Ridiculous plays to be delivered. Already had a record breaker on Dust 2. One well, expect odds here still favoring Navi. No surprise there, but at least this one isn't a blowout just yet. Utility purchased on in. Classic P250 given over towards Simple. And as the old adage goes, this pistol round is important, but more so for G2. Yet to win one in this series so far. They'd love this one here to make this CT side easier. Yeah, they've come so quick and easy. That's all the util. That's surely the game plan out the window for Navi. Boom, it's down. Two from underpass. The cousins are here. Nico's got one. Hunter departs. Courtesy of Bit. They're into A though. Electronic could get the bomb down here. Only next over towards spawn. The smoke buying some space. Simple cannot go down without a frag. He's got two info here now on jungle. And he's already tapping the head. This P250's so threatening. Simple is a force to be reckoned with. And it may require two. Perfecto's still in mid. Nico trying to keep him busy. Eyes away. Amanek is there. And Amanek needs this. Simple denies. Out of bullets. No bullets. And he needs the reload. He's oh, got one, one left. It doesn't matter. Nexus found him with the double. Electronic has planted. Ooh, looks a little awkward for him. Nexus has a kit. Yeah, and he's going to get on it with the smoke. It's going to be very hard for Electronic. He's trying to close the gap. And Nico can't body guard. Oh! The bullet's so close. He could have denied him. But G2, their first pistol of this grand final, and it was compulsory. They've converted it and straight back to a level pegging. Needed that, really needed that. And you can hear them getting fired up now, getting into it, starting to believe. If you thought you signed out for signed up for a blowout here today, that's not the case. Map number one was competitive. Map number two looking like we're going down the same course. Bit did great. I can't believe Bit gets hunted top mid with the Glock there, but the trades were better for G2. Oh man, I just felt like that was gonna connect, you know, Electronic with the denial and Nico this time, just before the smoke blooms. Confirms Boomich's doom. All right, this one shouldn't get out of control. Now, shouldn't is the key word here. But Eagle in the hands of Perfecto Bit and, of course, Simple. How much can they get out of this round? Oh, Nico, look at that. Perfect stuff. And the initial one top mid. Two more straight through that connector smoke. No silly business with your boost here today. And it is just Bit. And in question, two huge shots. Oh, almost had time to line up a third. All right, all right. Oh, man, every member of this Na'Vi roster will take the full mile when just the inch is given. Never mind the inch, the bloody millimeter. This is where the rifles come out, though. Na'Vi didn't invest in much more than upgraded pistols, so we'll get an early gun round out of them. It's great stuff from Nico. I think we saw Simple do a similar thing with an AWP. Harder weapon to do it from Nico. 
Do you see Matthew's tweet, Maniac uh, over on C is it Maniac CSGO, if you're looking for it yourself over on the broadcast, but he just compared all the world number ones over the years. You can see how they've both kind of been in a little silent battle between each other. Simple, of course, head and shoulders. Nika, however, is absolutely in the conversation, has been for many years. Yeah, really just fallen off our radar. I think it's more what he was plagued with, the, the brush that he was painted with, you know, that he was a problem. I think it's not much about him being a problem. It's about him wanting to do everything to win. I know we may have lost it now, but Simple used to be painted with that very same brush. The problem child. I don't know if we can steal that one from Keo, but uh, you guys get the uh, you guys get the point. Now uh, this one here, looking like they're selling a bit of a fake over towards A. We've just seen the wall smokes land top stairs. And that usually facilitates a bit of an underpass walk. Bit is on that journey. He's been spotted. Exchanges a smoke. The bomb coming through mid on Boomich here. Big problems now for yep. Navi. G2 have got so many bodies here in mid. They're ready to fight, but Boomich still strikes. This is going to be chaos. Look at the feed. It's all G2. Electronic to change things. Leaps to seize the space upon the info that there's no one home on A. Needs to keep going, though. He can. Perfecto tucked in here. This has actually got some legs to it, you know. Now, the bomb's in mid, sure. But let's work this 40 seconds. Is Perf Hamanek aware? He just checked the vent. He considered, he's considering it as a possibility. He knows it's a gap. He's more concerned about the B than it is Electronic. Oh, what a How's find. He lost that? I can't believe it. There's a chance, though, for Electronic. He'd need Nico now. And that's not happening. Let's go. Nico definitely looking like a new man coming into this CT side. And you lease your life here and been unleashed in a big way. Timeout going to be called from Na'Vi, and this will actually be their first timeout so far. So you want to correlate that? The first time they're really feeling under the pump here on Mirage. Now, Blade talking a lot. A lot of conversation there. Nobody looking in his direction. But just to note, G2's approach, if you guys didn't catch it, every single CT body was in place to contain the mid push. Nobody was on A. And even though they gave up all that space, the number advantage, even the awareness of Amanek, sure he didn't get the kill, but what that tells me, what that should tell you at home, is this is intentional from G2. They're well aware of what type of CT setup they were going for, and it's paid off. Nico now, check him out. All those problems on map number one, 21 kills, 110 ADR, He's here to play. That simple 30 and dust too. Well, Nico's on track right now for one of his own. Pistol's out and a chance for this one to calm on down. G2 should be converting this, should be grabbing their 11th. And that 0-3 uh, meme of G2, well, looking less likely. Would love this one to have, you know, some length to it. Get us get four maps deep at least. Have, a, have an arm wrestle, have a tug of war, have a back and forth. I just know deep down in my soul that Nuke, for some reason, is going to be an absolute banger. Mirage and Dust 2, if you keep it level heading into Nuke, we've got to lease that Inferno. Oi, oi, oi. And Ancient is the fifth and decider, the newest map in the pool if we do go the distance. That oh. could, that, like, the, the way that that could deliver, I, I can't even tell you because yeah. the protocols, they're not known. The map is still being discovered in front of our eyes. You might get some absolute magical moments here today. And with the individuals you've got in the server, on that new map, on that new playground, Simple has beaten that util. Nico is far too smart for that, and Hunter will confirm there is presence. Crosshair lowered a little. Simple executed by Nico. You can see Bit was feeling himself after that deagle round he had. Perfecto's put Nico right back on his ass. Oh, the head just hit in there from the bench. Imagine Hunter with some trigger discipline here. He's waiting for at least Perfecto. Oh, they do line up. He's got them both here. Needs the spray and provides it. So that will be G2's conversion. Nothing to get complain or nothing to complain about, really. Nico and Nexa, head and shoulders above the rest. But into the CT side, it is an opportunity to see the rest come through. Yeah, it's quite level over there from Na'Vi, right? You've got 13 for three players, simple bit, and Electronic with 13 frags, 11 for Boomich and 10 for Perfecto. So over there, it's been quite the team effort. I think we can recount the rounds where they just have the bodies in the right place on their CT side, but yet to post a T round. Now, with four rounds gone, Blade will be calling another timeout, and this makes sense. He called one after the last gun round, where they got absolutely swarmed in middle by those CT rifles, this time round, before they get into the gun round, having a chat. So, Master Chad. Oh. In ex in game leader Chad Sponge oh. Birchill of yes, Fox Eminem fame. Oh. You've tried mid on Eco's and full gunnies. Nico clearly heating up, and he's the connector player that can ruin your day. When you take this timeout, what are your alternatives? I mean, on the extremities, like 
You surely can't be once again looking to send the main body of your assault a 1-3-1 down mid when Nico's on a blinder like this. Well, if they're happy to have that many players glued towards middle, do your standard smokes. Make it look like a mid-heavy presence. Have Boomich do what he does best. Sell those fakes. And then allow some of your players to gravitate and look for picks on those extremities. At that point, you're hoping to find a kill, maybe get a trade, and then play the mid-round. You don't actually need to speed this one up too early. Right? Boomich now, he's going to get thrust on forward. The smokes are out. The orb shot misses. They've given him that space to work with. And once again, look at the radar. Look at the mini map in the top left of your screen, everybody. Two players short, two players connected, one window. They want to fight middle. And that's what Boomich and Simple are waiting for. Pushing in. Oh, Excellent. a tag. Nico lives on for just a second. The Glock to finish. Oh, here he comes. Messi spray finishes the job. There's one man in mid left. It's Jax. Bit timed that to perfection. And now Amanek to be called upon on the A site. By finding the pick on Electronic, he was ahead of the pack. So he will commit the bomb towards A. He scooped it up in T-Spawn. No one there to receive them. And the smoke implies Amanek may want to get his attention drawn on this side of the map. He will be there. Oops, didn't mantle. Chance Issues here. Now. A real chance for Amanek. Can't afford to miss this shot. They're giving up the space as well. Amanek can creep forward. He might catch them by surprise. Oh, Amanek. Looking to fill the shoes of Kenny. Yes, that's huge. and that's the shot. Perfecto down, two on two. Another smoke coming in from Bit now. He's just dropped that as he's coming up ramp. Simple has to stay perched in apartments. It's all up to Bit here. He needs to get the bomb. He needs to trust his superstar, and he needs to get that one down. Jax is rotating through CT. Amanek's taking more of a passive this line nice. here. I like the setup. Amanek can react if it was to be B. It is A. 30 seconds, Bit starting his mission. And that's oh. the shot. Jax gives it up. A problem now. Amanek's done so much for them. He has to do even more. That's the shot, though. Simple down, one on one. Bit to come up clutch for Na'Vi and to post their very first on the T side. Amanek to keep the sheet clean. Bit's looking the wrong way. He is at the moment, but just time ticking. Amanek hits and cuts noise. Patience here from the Frenchman. And that's oh Bit strafes out wide. And that's the peak. That's Na'Vi's first delivered on a silver platter by Bit. The concentration. Look at the concentration on his face. You're winning clutches at this level of Counter-Strike. You're getting your team, their first T-side around, straight back into an eye, straight back on the screen. That one is going to hurt. A, I thought the hard work was done in the 2v2 there. 30 second mark. Jack's just a little, little too wide on his rotation CT, and that was all simple needed. Okay, Amanek's got the move. Still definitely feeling himself on the AWP. I just can't believe the swing. Like, he's just swung on that CT Ooh, position. see that flick. You got the flick of the wrist? No, fully blind, doesn't even get a chance. We'll pull the trigger, so he reveals that AWP is short side. This is the same play they had before, but they're not getting pushed in mid. So G2, they've already backed off from that heavy mid setup. You can see now more on the extremities. Amanek and Jax over towards the B apartments. Next to Hunter paired up in window. And, and Nico actually has a really tall task right now. He's still towards connector. There's actually an open runway onto the A site. We can see that, Na'Vi can't, but they're actually piecing this one together. Back through T-Spawn comes Simple Perfecto on Boomich in a bit of a conga line. Electronic up and towards Callus and Bit. Now with this mid-presence, how many can he keep busy? Oh, they so willing to just give up that a ramp side. Looks like Nico will just about get into a point of contention. Amanex rotating with the AWP as well. This is good timing. Util from the ramp. Next is there in support. Bit's timing is everything as well. He's in the smoke. Footsteps may bait him in. And that's his chance. He still hits the headshot. Somebody finish him off. Perfecto as well into the site has found Nico. It's oh, wide open for here. business. Yeah, okay. But Simple peeks in all the way from the bulk. He started on ramp. He's read Amanek like a book. Biff and Chip, ages three and up. That one right there was real chance for G2. They had the pieces of the puzzle in the right place. That looked like they had actually rotated in time to stall that one out. Would have caught Na'Vi really off guard, but the awareness right there. I can't believe Simple's peeking like that. I don't see many... Many T-side orbs taking that angle, that elevated spot. Amanek was in the right plot spot to deny everything there. Right now, I think that Na'Vi would love to chase and take these two rifles away that you're seeing saved on Hunter and Jax, but th their economy's not built, right? Perfecto still has a Galil. The same can be said for Boomich. The same can be said for Electronic. They would love to upgrade those. So first of all, don't give them up. Second of all, find yourself something a little bit nicer. Electronic has been left to have a little bit of a looky-loo. And can we also just acknowledge that Bit, not only just winning the 1v1, but he's the one solo campaign through the mid smoke. He's got two players on the other side of it, and he still takes one nearly two. Yeah, look. I'm really impressed. Like, he is a revelation. And the fact that he did look a bit, like, a bit bumpy, a bit inconsistent. He had that lovely online phase to, like, kind of shake all that rust off and to really learn and be integrated into Na'Vi's system. 
Oh, it comes too easy to simple. Like watching it in his perspective, if you were just watching Simple's perspective and you just started playing Counter-Strike, you'd be like, this game looks so easy. That yeah. orb's like the most easy gun in the game. Yeah, look, uh, it, it's definitely the most powerful gun in the game, but not many can wield it like this man right here. So versatile with it. And also, whenever I see that debate, people go, well, actually, um, well, Simple actually uses the AWP, so it's because it's the easiest gun. Maybe he's not as good as the rifle is. I want to just highlight, if you've ever tried to AWP, as someone that picked it up in a show match and realized, oh, when people are good, it's really quite hard. I'm flashed, I'm smoked, I'm pushed, it's horrible. I've had discussions with pro players in taxis, like on the way to after parties at events and stuff, and we've been speaking about the best players, and, and some of them have had said, yeah, but Simple gets dropped all the, all the guns all the time. Of course he's going to get all the kills. Ah, right, yeah. So if they got the drop, the guns, they would be the world's best yeah. player too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's good to know that Ego is still <laughs> a present. 11 to 10, scoreline now. And well, these saved rifles are everything here for G2 in this one. How much can they milk out of these? The rest of the teammates are on the economical, and it's 2,400 as the loss bonus into the next. So the buy is still going to be very fragile. Mm. Actually, the buy is still going to be quite rubbish. Uh, not fragile. There's a lot on the line here for G2 in a round like this. They're hedging their bets that it will be an A play. Three players on the site, Hunter in swing towards CT spawn. Nico with it all to do with just the USP on B. Now he's actually thrusting himself forward here for some info. A deep smoke is just going to be lobbed out of his hands that you guys can see with the X-ray on your screen. And that is going to hold Navi at bay. Canary in the coal mine of the vent not broken. That's a sound cue available to G2 here as well. And they're actually looking to put pressure on the B bomb site now. Boomich has this short control. At least Nico's got an opportunity to call for some help. He's got only a USP, and there it goes. Hunter's rifle does nothing. Boomich just shrugs it off. And this, as you said, had implications. They wanted to at least be able to get competitive, deny the plan, make it costly. Jack's got to hold on to that M4. Yeah, water for ducks back there. And I don't know what G2 are going to do in the next round. So as I mentioned, 2,400, I'll let you guys do the maths. They're going to be in that range of just under 4K or just over 4K. Now, that doesn't mean that they're going to have all the nades necessary. We know that they like to apply a couple of silenced M4s. That'll give them a little bit extra, but not a lot. And we're at the business end here within this second half. Na'Vi, off the back of their second timeout, have now strung together three rounds. That's a great turnaround from them after being kept clean for the first four. Even being forced to hold on to a couple of Galils for a little bit longer. Electronic, last shot through the box. Nothing connects. Yeah, what's Nico meant to do with just a USP, right? His presence was just to jump and use that smoke to hopefully push them away, right? That's all they're hoping for right there. Can we force them into the stack? Oh, I guess not. And round falls away, and there you go. So now you're seeing what those silence M4s can do. Hunter and Amanek purchase those, but Amanek has a smoke and two flashes. You've Whoa. got Hunter with just a smoke yeah. and a flash. We're talking one Molotov, one incendiary here. The power of the silence M4, that 2900 cost, that's a missed what smoke, and Boomich makes better on it. The Molotov actually helps them more. Yeah, and that smoke enables his safe passage into the connector. He can take those fights! Ooh. Jump straight into the clutches of the silence M4. Hunter draws blood, Nico too. Simple with one rebuttal. They do have presence in the dark. This could be a chance for Nexu. He's going to be forced into the fight. Perfecto greets him with lead. And Bit strafing wide into Nico. He wins his duel. Two on two. A real opportunity, though. Na'Vi by no means out of this one. And pushing straight through off the flash. He was anti. Bit's got another with his 12 HP. And Jack's been very quiet. Could uh, maybe have had the element of surprise there. 1v2. Uh, I, I think he has to go for this. I feel like he has to. He has a kit. He can work with this. If he isolates Perfecto, bit is so low. He's got a kit and there's a smoke to be retrieved just in front of him. Gonna have to make the sound cue so Perfecto starts to move his mouth. Jax, uncertain, wants to clear the ramp. He's running out of time, running out of chances. It looks like he's given this one up. Doesn't even go for it. Just head on back. Perfecto to bring an orb to his best friend. Yeah, recovery mission right there. Make sure you bring the boss man his favorite weapon, right? You know, on the teacher's desk, you put an apple. Well, simple, you give him an AWP and you keep a smile on his face. That's 12 now. Navi back in the lead. But you can see, calm. Yeah, certainly. You can see what that uh, economy conversation is still ringing through. Hunter did get the opening frag, so simple. With one, it was Bit's frag that really kind of won them the round here. Nico going down and he finds another as Hunters walks through that 
Like, I, it, I don't know how deliberate it was, but he's locking jungle as that flash pops. Yeah, yeah that was perfect. That was absolutely perfect here. The one saved AK of Jax this time round, the only weapon to work with. Now, the levy has been broken on the T side rounds. It's four in a row. Jax is finding a lot of space right here. He's going to continue pushing. Perfecto has left a huge gap here, and he might get caught off unless he is very, very cautious. Looking the wrong way. It's an easy frag. The only rifle now down, and it will be defended. Perfecto runs away. He's actually going to throw away his. Oh, and that's horrible for G2. A bitter pill to swallow. Nico's looking the wrong way as well. Feel like I'm repeating myself, but the same deaths this time. At least Nex are facing the right direction this time. We'll go down to Perfecto for the double. Yeah, thinking on his toes right there, Perfecto. Get a good job at the recycling center, I think, making sure. One can't be picked on up. Amanek, nice shot. Would need a lot more than that. Has the opportunity. Pepper's up simple. Another offered with bit, but they're just there swarming. Na'Vi. Secure 13. And, well, Hunter, I'm sure you'd love that AK, but guess what? Uh, yeah, I don't think you can get over that wall, no, mate. A camera crew could find it, but that's about it. You can see MC now just scrambling with his 742 cameras to find the one that is over. Here it is. Ooh, ooh, he's got a strong arm, hasn't he? Yeah. Perfecto. Good throw. Unretrievable. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. All right, well, the conversation has really changed. It feels like moments ago, I was saying, G2, they're in this, they're here to play, and, well, Na'Vi have sucked that out of the room right now. There needs to be a rebuttal. That was just another low buy, so we're about to get the guns in play. 3,400 is the loss bonus. There's not going to be silenced M4s without Molotovs. There's not going to be no AWP on Amanek. Might even see a double AWP come out to play here. Yeah, that breaking point was that 2v2, right? Just seeing... Gets so close, Amanek with all the orping. He yeah, catches right. them on the cross, but converting the 2v2. Bit was involved in that in a large capacity. It has given Na'Vi full control of the reins right now for that 2-0 conversion of a grand final. Like, and, and you know we said, oh, G2, they'll be having to keep their minds clear, live in the present, and not think about the 3-0 of the last land pre prior to this in Katowice. You will when that 2-0 is starting to be locked in. And Nuke is the third. Now, I know that it was a really good Nuke showing from G2 yesterday. A lot of people are putting stock in that, but Na'Vi on Nuke, they are a different beast. I love how versatile they are. So I'd be very scared as a G2 fan. But this map's not done just yet. If you have any concerns, G2, now is your chance to voice them. They're not going for this clamp down on middle anymore. Actually quite transitional with the CT side defense. Amanek is swinging that orb over towards B. Na'Vi making their presence known in middle. The Cousins in tandem to lock that down. Nico and Hunter throw out some utility of their own. Nexa and Jax, they plant their feet on A, but now V, like water, they're going the path of least resistance here. Looks like they're geared up for that B bomb site. We still have a minute on the clock right now. Just the two of them to defend this, and it's going to come in very thick and fast. Bodies and nades sail through. Amanek passes his first te test, and he's got a good eye on towards that Apps Aggress. Flashed off. Perfect util from Na'Vi. He'll drop a smoke to play around. Hunter's got a good element of surprise here. And double spray on the M4. Simple looking for answers. Oh! Can't find the shot. It's Hunter and Nico. Multi-kill out of Hunter. He's definitely been the shining light, the beacon for G2's hopes and dreams. You heard the loud response there out of the server. It's a loud response in the server as well. The fact that everybody stays alive in that moment right there, keeping that money, allowing them to have a little bit of residual to reinvest. This is great. Look, this position here, what an awkward one to worry cle about clearing, right? You know there's an AWP as well. Uh, the silenced M4, the no, there's no traces to play off of. That smoke Huge. he was playing around as well. I don't know the source of it. It could have been a Na'Vi execute that he expected it, or could have very well been an underhand jobby of his own. Really enabled that. Great play. Run boost out mid is the plan. Nade waiting for him upon arrival. Well time there with the HE. So Boomich has softened up. That is just more of a nuisance than anything. Does make him more susceptible to the two M4s of Jackson Nexa that are currently in play. And G2, it was one of their positives, even with Kenny back on the team, is how fluid they stayed on their CT sides, moving around, re-aggressing. Now, sure, there is an opportunity for gaps to get left open, but so far, so good. Orp of Amanek back on the B bomb site. This is almost feeling like a mirror image of the last round with the CT setup, but the T play is a little bit different here. Four through middle, and we're back at that one minute mark. As Bit progresses up, ooh, nade. 
right there. Perfect timing from two of the HE so far from G2, but the entire congregation of Na'Vi is there. Simple wants to deny info mid. We'll smoke on top, and looks like this is just going to be a pop and go. Nico sitting anti. There's a gap, and Nico strikes now. Disappears into the smoke they deployed. There's more way around it. Perfecto claws it back, and he's going to make it two. Now a real problem. Alarm bells ring in the head of Nexa. Bullets two, and Simple suddenly, or rather not Simple, Na'Vi suddenly with a three versus one. Amanek left all oh, his own devices on B. And that really fell apart quickly. Nico, two apparently not enough. Yeah, he did great there. You know, I thought he was good for that third onto Perfecto there as well. But while Perfecto is still in our mouths here, let's just talk about what a team effort this has been so far. 20 for Bit, 18 for Simple. You've got 16 kills for Perfecto, 15 for Electronic, and 14 for Boomich. Everybody is showing up here from Na'Vi. Nico, he's really come alive since map one. 27 kills at this point. If he gets a third there, maybe they secure that round. Maybe it's a different conversation. But luckily, so many players stayed alive in that one CT yeah. round of the last couple that G2 have been able to post. They will be able to reinvest. But losing this orb, oh, it would suck. The leg shot, you got to get out of there, Aminat. You got to get moving. It's just the only threat is from T-Spawn. He should be safe and sound now, so he will at least bring that through. Oh, boy. We're at the business end of our second map here. Now, this is one of the benefits of, I, I know it's not the new money system anymore, but you no longer have the hard reset. Remember before when the loss bonus would build, you'd win a round and then you'd drop off that cliff all the way back down to minimum loss bonus. Well, right now, G2, they have a much higher loss bonus, which is going to facilitate them to stay competitive. They're going to have a juicy looking buy, and we do get play back underway, but this is a different look. Oh, what? What? Wall bang? Uh, okay. Well, they're going A. Boomich is selling this in mid on his own here. Got Nexa, Nico, everyone looking at it. It's Amanek's responsibility on A. Electronics swing straight out, taking some serious space. Sights open, Nexa let's go. Turn. They're already flooding into CT. He bests Nico. Smoke on towards the connector. Nexa ahead. What can he find? There's so many members of Na'Vi hanging around here. This is for 15. This is to really just put the thumb screws on to G2. Bomb's already going down. Simple, if he wants to cross, may meet that silenced M4. Just tagged up, doesn't find the lethality he sought. 3v4, how do you get back into this one? Some tags onto Simple's a great start. Bullets into that triple box would help, but he's bounded away. Jack's very quiet so far. Now time for a loud repeat. That Simple found. Electronic is Huge. next victim. Jax has given G2 a chance. There's a kit in play, they can do this. It's very, very tight. Perfecto and Bit can finish into 15 here, and Perfecto with more damage traded. Now onto the bomb. Jax it has to guard him. Has to play spoiler. Jax, you have to defend him. You have to defend him. Jax has got it. And so have G2, and they love that one. Malik, often very soft spoken, but it erupts for his squad. That will be 13, and we say play on. Huge. That is a huge round right there. The echoes of that one still need to be felt here. Nah, V, that looks so good. Walk into the open door of that site. Stroll on in, get full control, get the bomb down. But then Jax, he's had a bloody quiet game so far, but he's stepped up in a big way here. This double, round defining. Simple and electronic on the retake. Headshots provided, and he gets the third here to keep Nexus hopes and G2s as well. Oh boy, I think it was Nico with that volume, raising the decibels in the studio. And make no mistake, when you're shouting that loud, these players are in the same room. They are back to back. They are well aware of just how much that meant to G2. Well, one more timeout burnt right here from Na'Vi. One left in that bank balance. If they need those 30 second breathers anymore, only one more to do so. And G2, I'm sure they want to reset after a round like that. It's taken, freeze time. Five seconds left. We're going to get this one back underway, and both teams have everything they need to close out this map. Map number two is delivering in a big way here. 14-13. Na'Vi just hold on to this lead. Nine flashes in playoff spawn. A fair few of them thrown out into contest of that mid-fight. Doesn't look like G2 are going to be taking such an aggressive stance this time. And Na'Vi are not as direct either, right? They are playing actually just a, a default spread. Perfecto watching the apps, bit underpass, Boomich top mid control, simple overseeing business with that AWP. And Electronic, well, his job is to watch Palace and worry about that A ramp push. But right now, none of that is likely. Bit of a stalemate here, nobody engaging in any duels, just a standard util to hold them at bay and keep them back for as long as possible, being lobbed on out. And now Na'Vi start to make their move. Window smoke lands. Made an exchange bit. It's going to gobble that one up down to half, below half HP here. Looking good for G2. 
And they've passed that test, haven't they? Mid, control, haven't lost a body. And this is a lot of info for Amanek to hold on to here. He has so much info that there's nobody towards what? me right now, but... He up to, oops. Gets to really walk around in his... Oh, oh! Wonderland, and he's hit the shot onto Nico. A cursory glance from the superstar, and it's cost him his life on the crucial round. Man, advantage. This is going to hurt. Hunter starting to gamble. B, Bit can fend off the rotate if Jax is loud about it. Into the site now. Bomb on the back of Boomich. Requires more from Amanek. He has pulled the trigger. That may deter the bomb commitment. There's not enough bodies here. There's 20 seconds. They have to commit towards this B site. Where's the help? Jax can find Bit here. Bit still hitting headshots. He's such a problem. Amanek looking the wrong way. Still struggling. Oh! Simple with the dunk. Gets it just in time. He's they turning it around and they can get the bomb down just in the nick of time. Simple has just bailed them out completely. Bit as well. Low HP catching the full on Jax. Oh, next. There's so much to do. This is for the map, essentially. Got some jelly beans in their pockets for the final round if Nexa can't convert. Simple to take first contact. He's the one actively searching for this frag. He slipped through. This is huge. At least the element of surprise, but he's got to hurry this one up. Doesn't want to be touching the bomb clearing. His corners, simple, knocks him on the back of the head. And I want to see that one again. He strings together the movement, baits the shot of Amanek. Oh, he did everything boy. he could to track him. So much pressure there. Boomich is up in B apartments. 10 seconds left. He's on his loan, so they have to brute force. That right there has to be reactionary from Bit. Just catches a little glimpse. That's all it takes. And Amanek, he stands. He delivers what he has to. This is the nade. This is the jump. This is the shot. It's filth. Absolute Look at filth. the tie. He's getting into the site with seven seconds left, and the awareness here to be ready. 22 kills now for Simple. Now you're seeing the difference, Maker. We're getting to those pressure moments. This is where the difference is made. 15 found, timeout called. Na'Vi, one round away here from locking up a 2-0 start in his best of five. Look at it. I called him Jelly Beans. It's going to be MP9s. It's M4, Famas. It's far from ideal. Simple has just truly opened up that wound just as it was healing. Just as they were starting to find their footing in the second map. And this was G2's chance to equalize. It feels like it may be too far gone now. What have they got to fight for their honor here on Mirage? It's a deagle for Nico. Losing his life to Bit. Bit, by the way, 22. He's keeping up with Simple. We call Electronic the hand to the king. What does that make Bit? I think it's the king's guard is here on Mirage. Everybody's showing up for Na'Vi. Armored to the teeth now, Na'Vi. Best chance they've had. I think Bit, uh, Blade taking that time, I may have just said, boys, you have a distinct advantage. If you want to be 2-0 up in this grand final, I just need five more clicks onto five more heads. And What's can, the game plan? Yeah, you can see here with that approach, when those smokes landed to hold them back, they've just actually sucked on back further towards T-spawn. So there's no rush on this. There's really just no rush at all. The fact that they kept their cool, or at least they made it look like they were within the late stages of that one right there. Four sets of full util still. Yeah, they're allowing G2 to use all of their stuff early. Check it out on the other side. They've got two smokes, a flash, and a molotov. That's all they can defend with. Nexa, he wants a frag, stands, and does deliver. Nico's Deagle now. Yeah, a bit burning sound cues. Nico's Deagle, wow, that's quick. The Deagle blaze. Sets fire to Boomich, more required. Three, aggressing towards Nico's location. A $700 pistol separating him from that 0-2 in the grand final. Tagged up, oh! still hitting shots. Nico doing the impossible. He's got the bomb loose as well. Maybe a chance. Simple's down. Nico takes three. And that's exactly what the doctor ordered. G2 say play on. One of the star performance. There it is. 31 kills now for Nico. Simple, yeah, you did it in map number one, but Nico's here to play in a big way. They've turned this around, G2. They've turned this around. Oh, one more round to take us to overtime. So snappy. Let's see this one again. Next, he doesn't have smoke, so he uses his body. Gets the one. That's ridiculous. This is even more quick. More quick. It felt quicker. And there's the third as well. All right, play on. Final round of regulation. It's still not pretty. Oof, both teams here with some emissions in the bye. Oh, straight out mid. This is a bit. Fips grabbed one. Nico's down as well. That's a huge double from the rookie. Oh, my goodness. And G2, just it looks like that. They've lost Nico and Amanek. Na'Vi can slow this right down. They can pull these final teeth now. And is it going to be excruciating? Three in mid. Keep them on the extremities. Have Perfecto poke and prod B. Electronic linger in the palace. You're going to have to gamble, and that is no fun at all for a CT side on map point.
I think they're going to group up short here and boost. This is all down to timing. Can Jackson Hunter get there in time? There could be multiple kills available here towards Connector. That molly might just stop it. It's about to land. Oh, it's, it's towards not... the vent room. They can get the boost up. It's a bit late. I think it's a little late. They need to creep around the corner. They need to do it now. Oh, late. they're through. Too late, they're in. Simple's just at the tail end, and he's already had a chance. A missed shot. He's ready for the repeak, and now... No, How? Jax couldn't finish his meal. 16-14 is going to be a heartbreak for G2. Hunter with it all to do. We'll eliminate Simple. We'll look for an M4. Nex are equipped as well. A bit though. Miracle. He just doesn't give him the fights. He knows his management of these angles are ridiculous. He's hearing all this from Window as well. So much info right now. And they're so set up. They've got all their contingency plans established. Nexa does dismantle a bit quickly. That's Get in the smoke. Get not in the smoke. bad. A flash high will catch Nexa on the repeak, but it's only a Mac 10. From Electronic, he may not be willing to go for that. Put the smoke down. This could be something special. Oh, Electronic, great timing. And it's Perfecto to finish. Na'Vi will make short work of that final round of play. 16-14, a harrowing defeat for G2. And now the Samurai stares down the barrel.